TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch, we are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Man, I missed yesterday. Man, I'm telling, hey, it's Thursday, I went into the office, the Blueprint, don't forget we are a partner with the Blueprint Mastermind, the link's down in the description. We do be doing the round tables. This is me behind this head of hair right here, man. Uh, link's down in the description, man. We got another one of these dropping soon. It's going to be fire. Um, I was in the office Thursday, and my stomach just got to hurt. And I was like, man, I don't know about this. My stomach don't never feel like this. So I go home, and then Friday hit. It's over. <laughs> I, was, I couldn't even really get up. I was like, oh, man, that's tough. So, in turn for me missing, y'all get three bangers today, man. Bangers. I hope y'all really like and share these, man. Because y'all know ever since I got my little YouTube, ever since I had to do what I had to do for my channel, it's all love right now. <laughs> That's it. Police Interceptors, man. This is season 21, episode 8, I think. These are going to be done really at random because some of these get blocked. Some of them don't get blocked. The ones that do get blocked, they're going to be going on Patreon. Patreon, I got y'all today as well, too. It's Saturday. What am I going to be doing about Saturday? I'm in the crib reacting to videos for y'all. At least for the next six hours, seven hours. Let's get it. Crispy definition, ain't it? <laughs> it's a cold, wet winter's night. While most of Nottinghamshire's 1.1 million residents are tucked up in bed, 1.1 million, wow. North of Nottingham, top truck C3, we've got a vehicle failing to stop. A runaway golf driver is about to cause a nightmare on the roads. Reason for stop. Quickly escalating from slightly erratic, the suspected drink driver. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. My bad. Y'all know what it is, man. Following presentation is intended for mature audience. It contains graphic descriptions of crime scenes, adult dialogue, and strong language. Viewer discretion is advised. I do not condone, glorify, sensationalize any acts or stories told. I am here simply to educate myself and others on the history or current state of issues around the world. I'm clearly stating why I'm watching this. <laughs> Driver is barreling through a residential area at 50 miles an hour. Straight through Red Oak, yeah, temporarily firing. Flying it's through Reds, too. they seem hell bent on escaping the law. On wet roads, stopping distances are thought to double. Up to one, so now there is four zero and a three zero. Increase note to five zero. But with the winter rain hammering down, this driver continues putting pedal to the metal. Thankfully, at half three in the morning, the roads are empty as the driver tears through streets at well over 70 miles per hour. Sure my In the suburbs, alive. packed with playing fields and alleyways, it's a decamper's dream. We are now on Hillistic Road, generally back towards Arnold thing. Other units are aiming to get ahead with a stinger. 09629, we are Arnold with stinger. We'll look for stinger side. And dog handler Mark is also trying to catch up, along with his trusty canine Morse. Continuing now to Birchfield Road. So it seemed like every single time they even pop out, the <laughs> police interceptors, they got the dog no matter what. I feel like in America, the dog has to be called. It got to be like every time, though, they calling the dog. Speed is 6'5. However, jaywalk. time could be running out. Wrong side of the road, medium risk, still no other road users or pedestrians. The lead car is still locked on target. Continuing on Birchfield Road. Speed is now 4 0. 
but the golf driver is reaching the end of the road. I know he's gone over the tank trap, stand by. You can't even cap, we all knew that was coming. The end of the road, there's never an end of the road. With interceptors braced for a decamp, the dicey driver careers over a pavement at full pelt. On to, I think this is Killistic Road again. It is Killistic Road. We're doing loot. Circling past the playing fields for a second time, the suspected drink driver could still be looking for somewhere to bail out. I'm sorry, did he say the suspected drink driver or drunk driver? Just don't drink and drive, man. Don't. That's why we got Uber, that's why we got Lyft or whatever car services y'all got, Black Taxi. Grenade Killistic Road, speed is 5-0. Where is the next stable unit, please? Stop it, Coffee Road, coming towards you now. You see, uh, we're still on the same loop. We're on Birchfield Road again now. GRA, medium. Heading for the end of the road, take two. Yeah, he's going to be left, left, left. Stand by. The driver decides to take his chances on foot, but the intercept. <laughs> Wait a minute. The driver decides to take his chances on foot. Nah, buddy, you should have stayed in the car. It's over with. Foot, but the interceptors are hot on him. The driver decides to take his chances on foot, but the. Who is that? Pete and Bass or something? Interceptors are hot on his oh. heels. Top we've got a vehicle failing to stop. In Arnold, the interceptors are in pursuit of a suspected drink driver who's hitting high speeds and taking big risks on wet winter roads. Hello, he's gone over the tank trap. Stand by. <laughs> you must have some good wheels on there, because I'm surprised that tire did not pop. After leading cops on a loop of the estate, going to be left, left, left. The driver hits the brakes. Oh, that's the same thing. And it's the same thing where he jumped. So he ran into this dead end twice? Like, what? On his toes with an officer close behind. As the driver makes a break for it, so does one of the three passengers who quickly sees sense and returns. Yeah. Leaving Rich Elliott alone and taser drawn to deal with the three passengers, two of which are becoming aggressive. Get out of you! Right, the pair of you, to all three of you, are being detained, right? Calm it down. Calm it down. Right. What's that? Right, stay there. Going to tase about? Yeah, I'm going to tase you if you come with me aggressively. Yeah. Um, Faced with the prospect of 50,000 volts, the passengers are keeping their distance, but still making threats. Yeah, I've got three lads here, all from the car. Just need units to me. You're going to smash my head, are you? Oh, obviously just... <laughs> oh, man, you just racking up the charges, buddy. Just need to check that car's legit. Just stop. All right. That is not our problem. All right. My dad's funeral. Yeah, I appreciate that. We're saying you're going to smash me in. Who is that? That's Jordan McCain? <laughs> Who is that? situation, is it? No, because it's my dad. So right. I'm yeah, lost. I get, my voice. Yeah, I'm lost my I get that. I get why you might be upset. Finally, the cavalry arrives. If right. you don't want to stop, that's not our problem. We're telling him, yeah. slow down. Fine. Stop. Fine. Pull over. Yeah, but they're, they're putting me in aggressive with me. I didn't know he's judging you. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry. Fine. All right. Sorted. Right, we'll get to Boston then, won't we? That boy quickly regretted what he said. Well, you gonna do what to that cop? Man, look, you on camera and everything. You better cut it out. One way of getting to the bottom of it will be to question the driver. And a suspect has been chased deep into the estate. It's cold. Stay there. Need a unit to me, I've got one detained. Stay there. Put your hands on the floor. Put your hands. Keep your hands where I can see him. To ensure the suspect doesn't get the chance to make another run for it, the officer calls for backup. Um, but me. after the foot chase through dark alleyways, he's lost. I'm on a footpath behind some houses. That's a beautiful description. The interceptor uses an app to guide in backup. 
find my, my location. Three words are adding pass. What three words is an app often used by the emergency services to pinpoint locations. Every three meters squared in the world is identified by a unique combination of three words. Oh. Meaning help in the form of Mark, Paul, and Chalky is on hand in no time. Wait, what? See, the cops got tools that we don't even know they're using. I have no idea about this. I'm thinking, I'm talking about find my, <laughs> find my location. No, they got something fit, better than that. Hello. Hi. Not better, but. What's your name, pal? He's, he's done now, ain't it? Is that you? Is it you or not? You have a town told, not me. I don't know. Well, I'm not to the best someone. Well, yeah, because I followed you from the driver's seat, mate. There you go. With the suspected driver detained, the passengers are free to go. But back at the car, once again, aggression levels are rising. One of the raging passengers sees red and is heading for the cameraman. The same one? No, cameraman. What? Kicking off, he's refusing to go down without a fight. Boy, I got super strength. He's arrested for drunken disorderly behaviour. This is a really unfortunate situation, man. Because, hey, listen, y'all, you was on the clear and free path. They ain't got nothing to do with you. Like, y'all, the police officers in the UK are much more, just from this, you know what I'm saying? Just from this, I feel like they're a little bit more understanding. Y'all was not handcuffed. Y'all wasn't nothing. Hey, bro decided to hop out, run, do all he had to do. Now, in America, you guilty by association. Y'all all ran. <laughs> there, it seemed like it, they, they was going to let y'all go, even after y'all cussed them out. Like, you just got to calm down. <laughs> Read the situation. I know that Jameson is in you, but calm down. Yeah, okay. Do this bit nicely, shall we? Do we? Lovely do it. It's been an eventful night shift for Rich, having handled the pursuit and an angry car full. Two were quite hostile. Fortunately, I had a taser, so I drew it and red dotted them. Uh, I'm not going to have a fight with three lads on my own. Uh, it's just, uh, it's not going to end well, quite frankly. Well, I've been told that the drive is uh, well in drink. Uh, the speeds they were doing uh, in residential areas is just dangerous through and through. But well, unfortunately, there have been no injuries, and uh, we've brought us to a successful and safe resolution. The lad linked in the alleyway was convicted of dangerous driving and failing to provide a specimen, as well as driving without a valid license or insurance. He got oh. nine months behind bars and was banned from driving for 24 months. Damn. The passenger who kicked off was ordered to pay a fixed penalty notice for drunk and disorderly behaviour. That's, that's, that seems fair. That seems fair. That's fair enough. You know what I'm saying? You got a little fine for drunk and disorderly disbehavior, behaviour. That's the, normally what would happen here. Or you might have to do some community service or something like that. Or take a class. Um, Nine months, two-year license suspension. You might have got off a little easy on the nine months, but, you know. You would have been two years gone. <laughs> it's fair to say an interceptor can never drop their guard. No two jobs are the same, and not all suspects put their bad behaviour on show from the get-go. It's not unusual that you might meet, you know, Mr. Nice Guy one second who becomes Mr. Nasty in sort of a, a split second. If people are fueled by alcohol or drugs, then they become sort of unpredictable by definition, really. Mood swings, one moment compliant, one moment not. Um, sometimes it's trying to sort of reason with the unreasonable. On patrol in the unmarked Volvo are Rob and the Sarge, Ian. Yeah, it's in towards the city, heading towards uh, QMC by the looks of it. There are reports of another suspected drink driver. I really wish they say drunk and stop saying drink. I, maybe that's the right way to say because y'all, 
This is y'all language. We just borrow on it, but got somebody who's um, been seen leaving the uh, the pub a little worse for wear. It's got into a red Audi. Uh, we've now got a police officer behind it um, on the ring road. So we're just going to try and catch up with it. While Rob puts his foot down, the suspect is being tailed by a plain car. Uh, I'm now known for cover. Continues over Dunkirk. Zulu 5, just coming past QMC now. Rugby player Ian has nearly two decades' experience. Rugby player. First of all, sir, you are a police interceptor. Let it go. <laughs> this is an interceptor, and knowing that the driver could be over the limit, the last thing he wants is a pursuit. Approaching the next junction with the S453. To kick the driver's journey into touch, the plan is to wrap the Audi in a three-car box. Approaching the underpass where it uh, splits off towards Clifton. A second unit gets behind the red Audi. Currently a lane two. Closely followed by Rob and Ian. Zulu 5, we're just coming up behind you, Clifton Boulevard. Got your third tee pack in the stick now, we're, we're at the back. With everyone in position, the suspected drink driver navigates off the main road. And the team break cover. So I got a question, real quick, real quick. So every time. The police are getting ready to pull somebody over in the UK. They don't just do a normal routine traffic stop. They always T pack somebody. Like, because they could have easily just threw on the lights and then just been behind him and seeing if he pulled over. I feel like this maneuver is it's effective. Don't get me wrong. So they were fear they were in fear that he might run and cause a problem. Blah 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 blah. I don't know. I feel like we're just skipping steps though. I get it for safety reasons, but like I ain't never seen no UK cop do a regular police stop. Can somebody please educate me? Car boxed, zero contact. A flawless finish. Like I can see why somebody would be like, meet them with aggression. Like, even though the teapot, that this little boxing situation is meant for to protect everybody. Like, it seemed aggressive. Like, if you don't know what's going on, like, oh, whoa, whoa. Like, you get me? We stopped you because you got some possibly drink driving. Is that correct? Drink driving. No? Okay. How much have you actually had to drink? Uh, I've had a couple. Yeah. yeah. What, beer lagers or? Yeah, a couple of lagers, yeah. The cool-headed driver admits he's just left the pub. So, to clear the road, the team move round the corner for a breathalyzer. I have to warn you that it is an offence to fail or refuse to provide me with a specimen under these circumstances. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah, good. This stops going like clockwork, as the compliant driver is only too happy to do a breath test. Keep going, keep going. Oh, wait, thank you. That's it, stop. <laughs> that boy was happy. <laughs> Happy to blow. Calm down, my boy. Like, uh, leave. Right there is when you should have stopped. But no, no, you continued on. Keep going, keep going. Oh, wait, thank you. That's it, stop. You're going to jail, pal. So as you can see, it's come up with a fail. Well, the result of 55, the limit is 35. OK, so you're now under arrest on suspicion of driving whilst over the prescribed limit. Having failed the roadside breath test, the driver will be taken to the NIC to give an evidential specimen of breath. It's not causes any trouble, having only just left the pub. Um, he might still be going up, uh, so he might blow at a higher rate when we get him to the, uh, the custody suite. We'll just have to find out. So... Uh, uh, y'all already breathalyzed me once. I blew extra long, so y'all can't get it again. <laughs> so far, this stop has been plain sailing. But so, once they reach custody, 
What are you looking for? Are you putting drugs on me? Is that what you're doing, you? It's a different story. You're nailing me, aren't you? No. That's what you're doing. You're trying to nail me. Stop nailing me. You tried to nail me. It's all on camera. You're being searched. Jesus. Oh, you're really strong, dude. Do you feel really strong? What have you put on me? The search is all clear. Like you say, guys, I'm not going anywhere. With peace somewhat more, restored, he definitely got more and more and more and more lit. <laughs> Ian is ready to take the driver for his breath test, but there's another problem. It's the toilet or oh, the. Well, I can't go. I can't go before. Ian can't let the driver go to the toilet until after he's completed the breath test, because if the suspect doesn't give a specimen of breath, that first sample of urine could be golden evidence, which can be tested for alcohol levels. Mind if I piss on the floor then? Well, I can't stop you wetting yourself, but I would prefer if you didn't. That's what it might come to. I'm a 50 year old bloke, yeah. Despite Ian's preference. Oh dear. He did it! The suspect urinates in the cell. He did it! <clears throat> You've seen this piss all over the floor, mate. Look. Look. Don't, don't hey, right. flick that at me. Right, now. Pack it yeah, Stop piss that. all over the floor. Pack it in. Piss. Right. Piss Silly. all over the floor. Stupid. Come out the way. Piss all over the floor. Yeah? Last chance, calm down. Now stand up. Well, stand up and take a breath. For assistance, and you've just gone like that. I've oh. said. I didn't. You just said, like, no. At what... You're not having no assistance. At what Come point on. did I say that to you? I said you have to wait a couple of minutes while we do the test. And you decided to wet yourself. Look at the state of me. Yeah, we're going to swap them trousers in a minute. We can't do it. Oh, anything. yeah, that's brilliant. Are you going to put them on the line as well? <laughs> Sorry. After receiving some fresh clothes courtesy of custody, it's finally time for the evidential breath test. We've managed to get to this chap to calm down a little bit now. Um, he's, uh, he's good, well, he's said so far he's going to go through with the intox procedure. We've got him in the intox room now, and uh, hopefully we'll get a sample. I warn you that failure to provide either of these specimens will render you liable to prosecution. Do you agree to provide two specimens of breath for analysis? Two. Uh, I want a blood test. Once again, the suspected drink driver is not playing ball. Listen to I me. I want blood. Listen to me. Because I know how good I am. The offer is, for a breath test, we do not blood, offer blood. 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 Unless specific circumstances arise and you do not meet that criteria at this stage. Blood samples can be taken if there's a reason to believe someone cannot do the breath test for medical reasons. I don't want to breathe into, like, other people's breath. I want blood. OK. So, blood. so, so are, there, are there any medical reasons why... I don't want to breathe into other people's breath. That's, hey, listen. That's the quote of the year so far. You, why you uh, cannot or should not provide two specimens of breath? Yeah, I don't. I, I, I know for a fact I can't breathe that hard. There are specific criteria. That's a lie. We all seen it. <laughs> we all seen that roadside stop, boy. You was over breathing in that mug earlier. To meet, for you to have a blood sample, you cannot simply request it. So unless you're going to provide two specimens of breath, I'll take that as a refusal and we'll go back to the custody sergeant. That's so wrong. Fantastic. Do you want to stand up for me then, please? Failing to provide a sample can carry a maximum sentence of six months imprisonment, a driving ban or an unlimited fine. An unlimited fine? Uh, but he stopped his blood outside. None at all. In fact, he kept blowing after I told him to stop. <laughs> well, that's good evidence, isn't it? He's trying every trick in the book at the moment, uh, just stalling for time, uh, trying to eke it out, trying to make complaints. I've had 15, well, at least 12 cop cars around me, yeah? I don't, I don't know why. What was that, what was that all about? This process has Sorry, been going on for many, many years, and everybody's tried to find a loophole and there just isn't one uh, the the law is quite clear for failing to provide a specimen i like how this show is broken down man each there's four segments in this show there's four different cases in each show 
I don't know. I, I peeped this the first time I watched it. It's four different segments. Sometimes five, or sometimes the fourth one is the shorter one. And they, they're all different, but they all keep you very entertained. Like, it's not like you're watching the same thing, over, the same person over and over again. Like, it's, it's very entertaining. The driver was banned from the roads for 12 months and had to pay a total of £199 in fines and costs. Oh, that's, that's nothing. Smart guy. <laughs> Banned from the road for 12 months and then just a 99, $100, $200 fine? Nine times out of ten, you know, you'll get a uh, somebody who starts off like this this individual. Uh, absolutely. That's normally what happens in, in uh, at least in Chicago, man. If you get pulled over and you and you say, no, I'm not giving a blasphemizer, no, 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 I'm good. They give you, they suspend your license for a year. <laughs> That's better than the, the, the other. Calm, around, quite right? placid, um, you know, absolutely fine. Uh, nine times out of ten, they'll remain like that through your entire encounter with them. But this guy's just a reminder that not everyone stays calm. Um, so, yeah, never drop your guard with people. Coming up. And to tackle... Rapid, nimble, vehicle still failing stop, currently medium risk, able to mount pavements and go where cars can't follow. Few are more dangerous than a menace on a motorbike. Oh, We've got a duty of care to the rider because of the, the risk that comes with pursuing a motorbike to the rider. Or, Hedge the bets that they'll be able to fail to stop. Will a ball? Ball criminals can't be under the illusion that if they're in Cook County, you can. That's Chicago. Cook County, the Chicago land area. In Cook County, you're not allowed to pursue a motorcycle at all. Ride a bike, they'll get away with things because they won't. We will. We will go after them and we will stop them. I don't know if it's changed, but 2022 and lower, you could. In a northerly suburb of Nottingham, dog handler Jen Else is blue lighting to a job. When a rider on a high-powered bike up ahead wrongly thinks the lights and sirens are for him and floors it. Overtaking traffic, failing to stop at 70 and charging the wrong way over a roundabout towards oncoming cars, the reckless rider makes a potentially lethal mistake. Crazy is he wasn't even coming for you. As he tries to overtake and crashes into a car turning right. The rider is sent flying down the road along with his bike. A collision at such high speeds could be catastrophic. But miraculously, the walking wounded suspect is fleeing the scene. News of the crash travels fast. Left again, Firearms cops Lisa and Paul are one of a number of units responding. We're just going to get there. Check that. The... Hey, if you want a motorcycle, man, hey, just stop. <laughs> just stop, though, for real. Um. You know? Status of the member of the public is there, I think, and then um, try and find the side that's made off. It'll be just there, just all. In my eye. Ah. The bike's all the way down there. That's what I mean. The fact that he got up is crazy. Walked away. Right. Yeah. That took you by surprise, didn't it? Yeah. You got anyone? You got any kids in or anything? No. The driver appears to be okay, but shaken by the crash. If you got probably a bit of shock, and you might get a pain later on or something like that, I would no, think. That way. I don't even know. That way or that yeah, way? Yeah, it's that way. 
as long as you, you've got somebody with you at home, because you never know when, when a bit of shock might kick in, all right. Thankfully, the innocent member of the public doesn't seem to have been seriously injured, but the damage to his car clearly shows the force of the impact. I can't believe how far behind the motorbike's gone. Scattered down the road are the rider's helmet, a shoe and the bike, which has scored the pavement before coming to a stop. When we get riders of motorbikes that fail to stop, they, they ride terrible, you know, they ride really fast. They weave in and out of um, vehicles and they don't really see the dangers ahead of them because they're going too fast for their own ability. And if, as you can see, it's a long way down there. After the crash, the rider was seen jumping a fence into gardens. So the team have contained the area while they search for the suspect. The plate is still on the bike. So. We don't believe the, um, the rider of the bike's got any major injuries to worry about. But it is concerning when they go and we don't know where they are. It's always surprise. Oh, they've got him. Oh, that's fab. So the update we just had over the air is that um, another I'm couple stupid. of air AFOs, Dan and Rob, have found him. Um, he's the only reason I can see for him to run is like the consequences of getting caught on your bike outweigh the consequences of what you got on you getting caught with it. Like, like what are you doing? He's missing a trainer and covered in blood, so but he's conscious breathing, so that's positive and positive that we found him. Recent figures show around 32% of motorcycle accidents result in riders sustaining serious injuries. Having witnessed this accident firsthand, Jen is thankful the rider hasn't become another statistic. As I've come up this road, it's a typical, got my blue lights on, he thinks that I'm after him and he's just clipped the car. The bike's rolled over and I was just fearing the worst, to be honest. And we've since found out the bike's stolen, been stolen a year, mm. riding around on false plates. And mm. no insurance, and he's got no license either, so that's why he was running. Mm. But for me, he's lucky to be alive, to be honest. That could have yeah, ended very differently. The rider escaped without serious injuries. He's currently awaiting a charging decision for dangerous driving, driving without a valid license or insurance, failing to stop for the police and theft of a motor vehicle. No further action was taken for the suspected false plates. He might could get away with the theft. Could, uh, I, I just bought it. <laughs> Knowing the danger illegal riders are prepared to put not only themselves in, but everyone else on the road, the interceptors are more determined than ever to catch them. Out and about in the northwest of the county are Matt and Lee from the knife crime team. Although this shift, it's not weapons on the menu. <laughs> It's, it's rounding up an off-road biker who is refusing to stop. Pursuit authorised, the runaways rallying around corners and running red lights at crossroads. Temporarily Trying to lose the interceptors. One thing the rider on my motorcycle, I was I was banned from so many <laughs> so many cities, so many towns. It isn't banking on is he's caught the attention of the whole team. We're old middle lane now, where's best for us to go? Plotting up nearby are Johnny and Mozza. Just getting a stinger out in case he uh, comes down this way. Stinger's been authorised, so we're going to get one out and sit with us. Wait, they authorised a stinger on a motorcycle? Y'all really not playing no games with the motorcycles out there. On a lap just in case. And travelling in from across town to tighten the net are Chantel and Dean. That's one more way for right? Left, left, one lane. Nice one right into where the old new one would have. Sure enough, with Matt and Lee in pursuit, the rider pulls the textbook move. Daniel, stop. Come in, Glenn. Ah, we're going to be lost. 
Quarry Hill. He'll come out on Bale Road. I can't follow him due to the metal barrier. The biker may be off-road, but he's far from off the radar. They got a helicopter, don't they? If he does come out at Pleasley, though, where would it come out? I don't think he'd go straight. Round about to Pleasley, um, and either do back into Mansfield or right, right towards Shardwell. Devil, I'm going to go Shardwell. Adrenaline junkie Chantel's dream set of two wheels would be favorite gadget PlayStation. Ha <laughs> ha, The supercharged Kawasaki Ninja H2R. But today Wait, would be the super... Adrenaline junkie Chantel's dream set of two wheels would be the supercharged Kawasaki Ninja H2R. She going for the top dog. That and the BMW 1000RR, crazy. <laughs> With that, that hype, that H2. If I, could, if I could afford one, I'd definitely get one. But today, she'll settle for intercepting this off-roader. Chantel and Dean comb the country roads. Hey, up, hey, up, stand by, stand by. Is that it? An H upside. They picked up the rider for a second time. We're behind it. It's a common lane back towards Mansfield. True to form, the rider is hitting high speeds to escape. Speed into lane zero in a uh, six zeros. He's going left, left. Into industrial estate. Okay. I, I don't condone any of this behaviour, by the way. One, three, we're ahead. Right, right, Church Lane, it's come off the main drag. Leading them to another dead end. I think it's going to go off-road again. We'll He's up to old tricks with it's disappearing act number two. Now the initial one, I think you picked up. So he's gone down there. there. With a dog handler on scene, Dean and Chantel go into the fields to look for the rider. No chance for a disappearing hat trick. They find the rider hiding in the bushes. Victory for the knife crime team. The K9 or something else, ain't he? Boom. Boom. You're under arrest for failing to stop the police. Right, no problem. Same thing, we have friends, no mental questions. The catch of the day doesn't have a license or insurance either. Jump in there. Knowing the next stop is custody, he's been left wondering where it all went wrong. I'm getting caught on motocross bikes. Don't understand what's happening. Thanks to the interceptor's determination, oh, man, the sorry. rider was convicted of failing to stop and driving without a valid license or insurance. He received a 12 month suspension. You going to jail, buddy? Suspended prison sentence, 120 hours of unpaid work. And Never mind, you do a community service, buddy. And was disqualified from driving for two years. That's to top it man. off, his bike was scrapped. The road's crime team's bread and butter is stopping suspects on the move. And there's more than one way to get the job done. From full-blown operations... ...to reacting to hits on the ANPR network. And you just can't beat... scrapper. A good old bit of interceptor intuition. I knew he looked dodgy. That was a good, good one, that. Maka and Gav are in Newark. Well, don't forget, man, we do got the Patreon, man. We're going to be starting two new shows very soon, man. The two shows, This is England and Fresh Meat. Um, 
If y'all want to go on my Patreon, the link's down below. In my description in my Patreon is all the shows that are currently being watched and all the shows that are on there, period. See ya. Just one look at a passing green polo and they're on its bumper. See ya. Maka and Gav are in Newark. Just one look at a passing green polo and they're on its bumper. Gav runs the car through the police computer. Drugs information, East Leak. Stop him. Yeah. With another unit already on hand, Maka lights up the polo. Wow, this is the first time I've ever seen a regular police car. Look at that, mate. Instead of a T-pack. And Gav gets straight to the point. Kind of a too bad. Are you OK, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, thank Just, you. Uh, I'm going to ask you straight up, mate. Are you carrying anything here? It shouldn't be here now. No. So, no. I, I, hang on. I'd appreciate sorry, some honesty. Sorry, sorry, sir. Of course, you're acting really nervous. OK? And I've just done a quick check on the car yeah. just in that time before I stopped you, and there's some information around you may be involved in drugs. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you now, if you've got some personal use, we can sort it out at the roadside. Right. But you are going to... I hear that line a lot, man. If you got some personal, you're cool. We could just sort it. We get searched into Misuse of Drugs Act, so it's a good time just to tell me if you're carrying anything. Yeah. You know? OK. Before joining Rhodes Crime, Gav spent years on the beat with the knife crime team, hunting down those carrying weapons and drugs. Demeanor's very nervous, mate. Both from keep your hand where I can see oh, it, sorry, please, mate. mate. Yeah. And alarm bells are ringing about this twitchy twosome. What have you been to Newark for? I'm just with my friend coming along. Okay, and how long have you been here for then? Um, I've said about 40 minutes. Okay, just come to Newark. Yeah. 40 minutes. Yeah. All right, step out, buddy. Keep good. your hand where I can see it, mate. Yeah. It's great to see you, Tom. The cops aren't buying it's a swift night trip to Newark, so with the help of fellow interceptor Nick, the driver, passenger and polo are searched. Turn around first, buddy. Yeah, sure. The police interceptors aren't armed, right? Why do they call them? Okay, I do know why they call them. You want to tell me what this is in the footwell of the car? No, I've, I've right. just been sit, sitting in the car. Right. So. Nick him, Nick. Right, at the minute, yeah. I suspect this is a Class A drug, so you're under arrest on suspicion of possessing a Class A drug with intent to supply. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you don't answer some questions, something which later on in court, and anything you do say may be given evidence. That yeah. was in the footwell of the car where you were yeah, sat. Yeah, I've, yeah okay. I've, I've just been sitting And also in the car. on suspicion of possessing a bladed article. I bought that today. Remember, you're under caution and this yes. camera is filming. Yeah. Within five minutes of stopping the motor... Bought that today, huh? No, no, we need to see a receipt, buddy. ...the interceptors have found a package of suspected cocaine and two knives. But the... Pu you know where he going? Can y'all take any guesses? Any guesses? You going to jail, buddy. J-A-I-L. Guard! Polo is the gift that keeps on oh, giving. Oh, baton. Oh, baton. Yeah, baton as well. Where do you even get that from, man? Right, as it stands right, it's Class A Peewits. Yeah. It's bladed article times two. Yeah. And off wet times one, because there's an extendable baton. Yeah. Has yeah. he got anything on him? It's just the scales. Scales. We'll finish that search, I'll come yeah. back to you. There's more. Mac has found a large wad of cash. And he's... These two dummies. <laughs> Y'all dumb. Trap 101, you did not follow instructions. This is one of the dumbest things. Get ever. to search the boot. Whose bags are this? Nothing to do with me, sir. <laughs> Oh, 
can't sell a load of cannabis. I just sold it. Yeah. That's what all the cash is for. Yeah. We'll seize that. So that box has got a zip bag, a ziplock bag in it, uh, like a vacuum pack bag, which has obviously been full of cannabis. It's empty now, but it stinks. Um, so I'm guessing they've just sold all the cannabis, which is why they've got all the cash in the wallet. So yeah, two knives, a baton, drugs, cash. Decent result. Keen to gather as much evidence as possible, oh, once the suspects are already there. Over custody, Macker and Gav execute a warrant at an address linked to the driver and seize a safe, as well as another interesting find. It's one of these magnetic boxes here, which um, are common for drug dealers. What they do is they put the drugs inside, secure it with the clips. It's magnetic. Stick it underneath the car, and often you'll look underneath the car and you'll find one of these full of drugs or cash. Both items are seized for the investigation. The safe was cracked open, but found to be empty. However, both the driver and passenger have been released under investigation for dealing Class A drugs and possession of an offensive weapon. Still to come. Oh, that's it, oh. Dave. That's it. Yeah, OK. So did they keep the money? Halfway through a 12-hour day shift on Lisa and Rich. I've got a feeling I'm going to drink this. It's going to go everywhere. Wait till I'm going over. 12-hour shift is crazy. Oh, yeah. Real, you know, tea experience. The dangerous thing. Off-duty thrill seeker Rich is a keen adventure racer. In a previous life, he was an intelligence analyst. And now, with 14 years on the force, uh, yes, it's heading towards that way. He's an expert at keeping tabs on cloned cars. Uh, we've had an activation on an APR camera of a uh, vehicle that's believed to be on cloned plates. So we're just going to put ourselves in the area see if we can pick it up. The Black Golf on suspected cloned plates has already hit two ANPR cameras. I'm going to get shield rise towards mm -hmm. there. Typically, false plates are often used to hide the identity of a stolen car or a dodgy driver. Yeah. NH were uh, not far down. As a third camera hit comes in, there's no doubt the motor is still on the road. Yeah, kill them there. Hopefully, it'll be some, at the. Uh, 610 Nearing the Black Gulf's last known location, the interceptor's view is blocked by a lorry. Ah, I think it may have gone straight up, mate. I just saw a golf, I think, go straight up. Lisa tries to get a line of sight. NH, we might have just caught sight of it going across the 610, continuing in towards uh, Brock State. It's not confirmed, though. Straight on. Yeah, go straight on. I'm sure you might even see it. Reaching the busy cross. <laughs> they not stopping. <laughs> ah, they, yo, they got no respect. That's funny. Reaching the busy crossroads. Um, yeah, go. They trying to get to where they going. There's no sign of the golf. And it, there's, a, there's a million ways it could turn up already. The trail's gone cold. It's not pinged anything since. If the suspected cloned car isn't pinging cameras, chances are it's been parked up somewhere nearby. Oh, what's this? Yeah. No. Lisa and Rich check each and every turn. Oh, that's it, oh, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. Bro, looking down the street, he ain't got no glasses on or nothing. That's one there. Until they clap eyes on it. We're with this uh, golf wood field road. The engine is still running and a couple are lingering nearby. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, mate. Is that your car? Huh? Get the coat out of it. Sorry? Get the coat out of it. Coat. You get your coat out of it? Oh, you're you yeah, selfish yeah, driving? Yeah, yeah no, OK. No, no, I'm not. But... Why, 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 I think you were driving it. I've seen an image of the driver. You're, you're, driving. You're, were you were you driving that car? When? Just now. No. So that car's just got it, hasn't it? No, it's not. 
No, I wasn't driving the car. So you got Who your you got your coat out of it. Why are you lying? Just, you just see me up in the back door. Yeah. Someone is selling porkies, and it's not rich. I know. Have you just seen me drive that car? I haven't seen nothing. No, but I've seen an A&PR no, image of a female driving the car. You've just said that you've just seen me driving oh, no, so the car. Why? I've seen an A&PR image of a female driving that car. So we've seen a video. NH, we've got a couple of detained here at the shop, so we we'll try and get to the bottom of it. They're denying driving it. Rich applies a little more pressure. <laughs> just keep your hands out your pockets, folks. What are we going to do? Just going to give you a quick search. For a minute, I suspect that that car might be stolen, OK? Stolen? Yeah. Stolen? Are you yeah. mad? Are you yeah, well, that, that's the, that's the reason why. I never ever do. Come on, mate. Stolen car. OK, well, how do you know that, then? <laughs> right, how do you know? And if you know, a bit, if you know a bit more about it, then, then tell me. Yeah, yeah, all right, then. Yeah. I was the driver, and it's not a stolen car. Right. Okay. Is it on false plates? Is it on false plates? I've just bought the car. You've just bought it? I've literally bought the car. OK. I bought it from... The driver admits she recently bought the car for 500 quid. And while we're spilling the beans... Have you got a licence? No, I've got a on that's not quite the whole truth either. Right, so you're disqualified until April. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's on, it's on our database, so it's on the DL database. So okay, so you that. shouldn't be driving. I thought, it, some paper, I thought it was up. No, Come no, on, not until April next that, year. Please. She's banned from driving for another 14 months. Yeah. Also, the car's not on the right plates. It is on, no. yeah, the clone plates. So, which I think if you were straight with me, you, you'd say you no, know, because you drive whilst disqualified without a license. Okay, which is probably why it's on false plates. Can anybody guess where she's going? Probably home. She's going home. <laughs> the UK is going to let her go. To avoid having to go through the official channels and get all your documentation sorted. I just bought it like that. All roads lead to the same outcome. The interceptors will be taking the car off her hands. We need your papers. No. It's out of it. Just a fag. Right and reporting her for driving whilst disqualified and without insurance. There are she's going found, home. subsequently a couple of child seats in the car, so it leads me to suspect that at some point she's been driving around with no licence or insurance with children in the car, young children. So the females are claiming to have just bought the car, which is a regular story we often hear, that they've only just bought it. Um, however, it's been driving around on these plates, we're quite confident, for at least a week. So at least it's today off the road, she won't be able to... She had it a week. ...to drive it with no, uh, no licence or insurance um, anymore. No legal action was taken against the woman. Told you, she go home, buddy. Woman for the false plates, but she was convicted of driving whilst disqualified and driving without insurance. And she was home. banned from the roads for another 19 months, sentenced to 60 hours of unpaid work, and had to pay costs of 85 pounds. Lisa lets Rich do the honours. On this occasion, Rich. Oh, do I get to drive? You it? get to drive the. Uh... Do you want to drive it? No. I always drive him. All right. On this occasion, you can drive off and stall it and... Make myself look good. Mm -hmm. All right, one. If you want to leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. If you want to follow me on any other social links, they down below, man. Enjoy.